my channel or welcome if you're new. This is not a typical video that I make here on my channel. In fact, I cannot even believe I'm making this video on my channel, but here's the thing. So I feel like I haven't been that concerned about the coronavirus, but a few things happened today and I'm just like, you know what? I want to be prepared. So for example, my husband had a meeting this morning about them possibly having to start working from home, which might seem normal for some companies, but for his company, like that's a huge deal. He's never ever, they've never allowed anyone to work from home at his, he works at a corporate office. They've never let people work from home. So the fact that they might have people work from home was just like, I was completely shocked. Then I started getting emails from Starbucks, Ulta, basically all these, you know, email subscription places that I have saying that they're changing certain things. Like Starbucks was talking about maybe only doing drive through for a while. Ulta was saying they weren't going to be offering like makeup services and um, like the eyebrow waxing, all that kind of stuff, like the hands-on stuff. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, okay, maybe like I should get prepared just in case because if all the stores close, if people have to start working from home and they can't go out to the stores and all the stores close, like we don't have any food. I typically just buy what we need for the week and then I get groceries again every single week and I don't ever have anything left over. So what we have for the week is what we have and we don't ever have anything extra. So I am not a food prepper. I am not, this is the first time I've ever had to do anything like this. So I'm sure I did not a good job. So I can use any advice and tips that you guys want to leave down below. But I thought I would share with you what I did buy. Um, first off, I did go to Target right away because they had 20% off all their vitamins and supplements. And I was like, you know what, let's just stock up on some elderberry and some vitamin C and some medicines. Um, that's what also freaked me out. I went into Target, they had nothing. Their shelves were cleared out. By the way, I live in Missouri, so I know it's different all over the world. Um, I'm curious to know what the status is in your area. I'm gonna have this video up the very next day, so this will be very real time, but as of right now, like the stores are pretty much out of things like toilet paper and hand sanitizer, and they're limiting the number of soaps you can buy and hand sanitizers you can buy, um, but all their, their medical aisles were just completely bare. So I didn't even buy anything at Target. I just left and I went over to Aldi's just to get food stuff, and I was able to find a couple dry things as well, like household items. So I'm just gonna jump right in and show you guys what I got. Okay, so canned goods is what I really spent most of my time on. Um, I just kind of thought about what I typically make for dinner and what I could make a lot of. So I got baked beans, I got a couple of mandarin oranges, I also have two toddler boys if you're new here, so they like a lot of snack foods. Um, I got a couple cans of spaghetti and meatballs for the kids. I got three things of sloppy joe mix. This is a super, super easy dinner that we like to have pretty often. I got pinto beans as well as kidney beans. This is great for chili. I love to do just like a big pot of chili in the crock pot. I got four cans of refried beans for quesadillas or tacos. Also got three big jars of salsa. We do tacos at least once a week and I just dump this salsa over chicken breast and put it in the crock pot shred it up and make tacos or whatever with it. So I definitely wanted to stock up on salsa. I also got chicken broth, another thing that I use. I use my Instant Pot like all the time. So chicken broth is really good in the Instant Pot with chicken and spices and stuff. I also got some diced tomatoes with green chilies, just two, some taco seasonings. Uh, tomato sauce, these were only 25 cents. I actually had a few already in my pantry, so I just grabbed four more because tomato sauce is super easy to add into pretty much any recipe. Diced tomatoes, another thing that's really easy to make sauce out of or just kind of add a little bit of bulk into your chili or whatever you're making. I got one jar of just black bean corn salsa because it sounded good and some queso. Some stuff I didn't really bulk up in. Um, brown sugar, oatmeal, just to have some oatmeal because we don't have any on hand. Some applesauce for the kids. A box of fruit snacks. These are their favorite granola bars, so I went ahead and got four boxes of them. Um, I got two bags of pretzels. I got a little bit of dry snack food, not a whole lot. These don't have a super long shelf life. Um, it's about a month or two months out, so I just grabbed some tortilla chips, some of these little like rice snacks. 
crackers, which will be great for anything. I should have grabbed tuna. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but crackers are great. Um, this is just a bag of chips and we've already gotten into it. Um, some cereal. And then I also got tortillas. Again, tortillas don't really have a big shelf life. This is like a month out. So we will probably just end up getting more because I feel like we always need tortillas. But that's the whole point of this is I'm supposed to not be able to have, be able to get more. So I'm already failing. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I also got some pasta items. I just got a big thing of spaghetti and some um, rotini. If I'm being honest with you guys, I really typically don't buy this kind of stuff. I really buy more like um, vegetable pastas and stuff like that and more fresh food. So this is kind of just backup. I also got two things of Raymond noodles. My kids do eat these though all the time. So this is going to come in handy no matter what. Um, I got six things of mac and cheese. These were only 35 cents. So if we get into a bind, we can just eat mac and cheese. <laughs> and then I also got a bunch of um, pasta sauce so we can make tons of spaghetti. I could also use this with chicken. And these I think were like 75 cents a jar. Okay, now getting into dairy and meat. I got a bunch of shredded cheeses. We put cheese on basically everything. I got two bags of these cheese sticks and these actually have a pretty long shelf life. They're good until June. And then I got two things of coffee creamers, two things of Greek yogurt. I didn't wanna go too overboard with this kind of perishable stuff. I mean, honestly, I didn't go overboard with anything, but I just wanted to have a little bit of everything. I got two packages of hot dogs. And then I also got some meat. So this is five pounds of ground beef. I usually use one pound when I'm cooking dinner. So I'm actually gonna portion this out into five separate pieces and freeze all of it. And then same thing with the chicken. I got two things of chicken breast and I'm going to portion these out to probably two breasts per bag. And I'll just put these in Ziploc baggies and then stick it all in the freezer. That way we have plenty of frozen stuff. And honestly, you can pop the frozen chicken into your crock pot with pretty much anything over here. I mean, I could even pour baked beans over it. Like you can pour anything over frozen chicken and put it in the crock pot and it'll taste amazing. So that's why I wanted to make sure that we stocked up on all of this canned stuff so that I could just throw chicken in the crock pot and have something. But also this ground beef will be great for sloppy joes and chili and even tacos. The last thing I got are frozen pizzas. I could have gotten more in the frozen section, but it's a little bit more expensive over there. So I just grabbed four frozen pizzas. Okay, and I did say I got some dry items too. I just got two boxes of diapers. My youngest is in size four diapers. We have one box already at home, but I went ahead and got two more boxes so that we would be fully stocked up. I also got three things of toilet paper and we're definitely not anywhere near being out of toilet paper. So this is definitely all just extra. And then I just grabbed a big thing of paper towels as well. Okay, I also went back to the store and stocked up on some dog food. And I also went back and got burritos. I wanted to just grab like 10 bags of these, but they only had two left. And if you guys know, we eat these like all the time anyway. So I was shocked that they only had two bags left. So I grabbed the last two they had. And then I grabbed the Great Value brand as well. And then I also just stocked up on some kids medicine. Tylenol, I mean, it was pretty slim pickings, and some toothpaste. So I didn't get things like hand sanitizers and soaps because that was something that a lot of people were saying you needed to have. I don't know about you guys, but I have tons of soap. We have six bathrooms, and I literally have probably at least three hand soaps in each bathroom just because, I don't know, Bath & Body Works is having a sale or something. Like, I always have hand soaps, so I didn't need to get any hand soaps. Um, even dish soap and, and like sprays, countertop sprays, all that kind of stuff. I already kind of have that in bulk, so I didn't stock up on any of that. Um, I don't know about bottled water. We have a big case downstairs already, but I didn't buy any more. I don't know if that's something that I should have purchased. Let me know what else you guys think that I should have gotten. Um, as far as medicines go, I wanna see if maybe I can order some more on Amazon and get just like some um, vitamin supplements. I mean, we have most of our stuff delivered to us, but I guess it's good to stock up on like the elderberry gummies and some Tylenol and especially for the kids. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm gonna be looking out for and then maybe some more freezer food in the future. 
um, maybe some like frozen burritos and just like more like frozen meals that are just ready to go. And I will be prepping up all that meat and freezing it. So let me know any other advice and tips that you guys have. And I wanted to mention the price of everything that I got because I'm always curious what people spend. You guys, since I went to Aldi's, it was only $221 and I got a lot of food. So I mean my cart, I couldn't even have fit anything else in my cart. My cart was overflowing and I thought this is going to be at least $300, but it was only $221 and honestly that's like not even that much more than what I typically spend on a regular grocery week. So to now have all of this backup food just in case, I'm really excited. I don't know how yet I'm going to be like using it because it's like do you start using it now or do you like wait and like not use any of it yet? So I'm not really sure. I'm hoping that it doesn't come down to like an emergency situation, but I just wanted to be prepared. And so hopefully none of this actually comes to fruition and we don't have stores closing or any like crazy huge apocalypse. But if it does, I'm a little bit prepared. And if it doesn't, then I just have a bunch of food that we can eat and enjoy and be stocked up on. So honestly, I don't think there's any reason to not do this. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.